Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius and welcome to another day in the fish room. So recently I've made a lot of changes to some of my aquariums, I've done a lot of experiments, and today I want to give you guys some updates. So first off, in my last video, I gave you guys a look at the situation that happened inside of my 125 gallon aquarium. In that tank, I had a hybrid fish that was causing a lot of chaos. The fish was a hybrid between a dovi and jaguar. I actually have two of them, but the male is just being extremely aggressive. And I asked you guys if I should put them inside my 55 gallon aquarium, which had my convicts. And in exchange, I will bring my convicts into the 125 gallon where that fish once lived. So I give you guys a poll to decide what should I do with the fish. And you guys agree with me that we should catch that aggressive fish and put him into my 55 gallon aquarium with the convicts. Well, he would eat the baby convicts, but the adult convicts would come up here. Now the majority of you guys voted yes to bring this guy down into this tank with the convicts just to watch him grow and mature. But I must say I was surprised at the number of you guys that voted no. And I read your comments and most of you guys just were concerned with the lives of these convicts. Now don't get me wrong, convicts are awesome fish. I currently have six that are gonna stay my show fish. I'm gonna keep these guys as long as I can. However, these babies, um, the reason why I bred them in the first place was to be food. Now some people say, why not sell them? Can I get money um, from selling them? The thing is convicts are so common, you can't really sell them for much of a profit, especially in my area. Everybody is breeding convicts, everybody is selling convicts. So if I join the race, I'm not gonna make much profit. And in fact, I'm just gonna make things harder for the people that actually breed convicts for the intent to get some money back. If it helps, I'll mention that this fish is half dovi. And in the wild, dovi prey on spiny cichlids such as convicts. So there is a pinch of natural behavior in this whole experiment. Now one of my goals with this tank is to bring out as much personality as I can from this Jaguar Dovi and one of the best ways to do that is by making the fish as comfortable as possible in this aquarium. Now I noticed when he was living inside my 125, he was very involved with my setup. He was black in color to match the black substrate and the black background. I noticed he always moved among the rock works. So with that in mind, I just tried to design this tank to be suitable for this fish, so I added just a lot of open spaces because I know that this fish will grow and as he grows he's going to appreciate the open spaces but on top of that I added a lot of dense um, just compact areas places with a lot of wood a lot of plants and just a really tight area where he could move all through without me really being able to notice some just areas where he could really camouflage and just feel protected I also provided some caves some dark caves um, so not so dark caves, just areas where he could just find as much comfortable as possible, multiple areas where he could retreat to if he do feel threatened, and once again, just trying to make a very interactive aquarium for him, a lot of different tunnels and caves that he could experiment with. So this Dovi Jaguar has been in a tank for about four days, and I just want to give you guys a review of what I've been noticing in this aquarium. So first of all, when it comes to figuring out where this guy is at, all you have to do is watch these convicts. These guys are um, just very responsive towards him, mainly because of his size. It's not so much that he's going around attacking them. I've watched this tank a lot, and um, for the most part, he's doing his own thing. But because he's so big, they're all um, swimming away from him wherever he is. So you see these guys swimming to the left. That means he's over there to the right, and you can see him next to the sponge filter. And that's kind of what makes this setup so interesting. These um, convicts, they're kind of like deers, and they're so aware because they know that there's a tiger, or I guess in this case a jaguar, lurking somewhere. So just to watch them and to watch them pay attention and just, um, I don't know, that behavior is just so interesting. I know some people might not agree with it, but watching these guys know that danger is near, their response is 
pretty interesting. Another thing that I noticed with this setup is that this guy is a lot more active in this aquarium than in my 125. And that's probably mainly because in this tank he is the alpha male. He is at the top of the food chain, so there pretty much is no fear. My aquascape may have had some influence in his behavior, but this guy, I see him a lot more. Um, he's always swimming around and just definitely get to enjoy him more. Now, when it comes to his relationship with the convicts, I told you guys that for the most part, he's not too aggressive. That's true, but he does hunt some of them at times. Now, these guys right here, um, they're pretty much safe. It's these tiny guys over here that are at, at risk. And these are the ones that are at the bottom of the hierarchy. These guys are extremely tiny. Keep in mind, all these convicts are siblings with the exception of these pink convicts, which came from a different litter. But all these other guys, they're all siblings. These guys are about, I'd say, a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch. And these guys are about half their size. So I've watched this Dovi Jaguar hunt these smaller guys, even today. Today, I've been down here working in the fish room so far for about four hours. I've watched this Jaguar Dovi hunt about five times, one of which was successful. So he does hunt these guys but he's not aggressive towards them. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. Um, he's not trying to fight them as he would any other sickly, probably because he's so much bigger, but these smaller guys, he does pick off. And I'm not sure if he's gonna attack these larger guys because I've watched him swim around them. In fact, here he is right here. I watch him um, swim around. He really doesn't pay any attention to these larger guys, but these smaller ones, he does stalk them. And I think that's what he was doing in this corner. A lot of times when he's over here, I watch him and he's just perfectly still that's because he's watching these little guys stalking him and then eventually he strikes but based on what i see it will take him time to eat these convicts now i was expecting for like a week to go by and all these convicts to be gone but based on what i see i do believe that it will take much longer maybe months before you eat all of them and in that time these convicts will grow and i do believe if i get a mated pair he definitely will not be able to eat them and if they do make it to that point i'm definitely going to give them the chance to live and I'll maybe give them to somebody, um, drop them off at the local fish store, just give them an actual chance if they make it through all that. But yeah, I do believe that there is a chance, um, just going based on what I see so far. Remember, it's only been four days. He could intensify his hunting, this um, Jaguar Dovi, but so far, based on what I've seen, he's not too crazy when it comes to hunting them. These convicts do eat a lot, so maybe um, I'll get a mated pair, and that mated pair, no doubt, will be able to defend themselves against them because my mate up here, their parents up here are fighting my um, red devils, which are much bigger. But yeah, that's what's going on with this aquarium. We'll have to just wait and watch this Jaguar Dovi grow up. I do have some big plans for him as an adult, but first he has to grow up. So yeah, that's what's going on in that aquarium. Besides that, I also experimented with this red devil. I had a lot of people ask me, can I put him back into the 350? to see if he learned his lesson and is no longer aggressive. Now, there's a number of reasons why I thought that it was a good idea. One, because obviously in this tank, he's not too happy. He hides almost constantly. And also because in this aquarium, my peacock bass, specifically this Cichlor Orinoco, this dark fish right here, was being very aggressive towards my two smaller peacock bass. And I definitely didn't like that. And I know that the Red Devil, from pre previous experiences, he does do a great job as a tank boss breaking up fights. Currently the tank boss is the Oscar and he tries to break up some fights, but honestly most of the fish don't really respect him. So yeah, briefly while I was doing water changes, I tried to add this guy back to this aquarium. Now before I added him, I did have a prediction and the prediction was that the Oscar was gonna harass him. Same thing that I noticed before when I added this guy back to the tank the week before. So I added him to the tank, the Oscar chased him nonstop because the Oscar is tank boss and that's what all tank balls do. They just let everybody in the tank know that he's tank boss. So if there's a new fish, he's gonna chase it, harass it and try to put it in his place. So I predicted that the Oscar was gonna chase the Red Devil and try to put him in his place. However, the Red Devil um, won't submit as easily as the peacock bass. So I suspected that the Oscar was going to chase the Red Devil. The, Oscar, the Red Devil was going to beat the Oscar, but then hopefully they worked something out and the Oscar just submit. Um, and this is what happened. So right away the Oscar went doing his thing, trying to submit the Red Devil, chasing him nonstop.
this lasted for about two minutes. And then the Red Devil got sick of it. Now, it is um, pretty strange for it to occur that quick for the Red Devil to get into this new environment with all these fish and to right away defend himself. But he is the Red Devil. He is a fish that is used to being on top. So it didn't take him any time before he um, was ready to take on Oscar. After about three minutes of going back and forth, I had to take the Red Devil out because he had the Oscar back into a corner. And no doubt if I would have left the Oscar in a tank, he would have um, been in very bad condition, if not dead. So because of that, this guy is back in this aquarium, back behind his rock. And um, he's not gonna be going with these fish anytime soon. Now I could take out the Oscar and put the Red Devil in here. And I do believe that he wouldn't be so aggressive towards these other guys because these guys are going to submit. However, the Oscar is South American. The Oscar is actually not a bad tank boss. Even though he doesn't have everybody in check, he still is not overly aggressive. And that's the risk that the Red Devil poses. He come in here, he'll have everybody in check. But if he's in a bad mood, um, these fish could have a nightmare. So for now, he's going to stay in this aquarium and just stay as depressed as he is. Um, maybe these convicts might bring some life into him. I saw the convicts earlier today fighting a female and once they conquer the female, he's gonna be the next target. So maybe um, he'll come alive trying to fight these convicts because even though he's much bigger, the way I have this tank set up with all these rocks, they're able to hide and to um, just really be, really be um, strategic with their battles. So maybe he'll um, come alive in the future fighting these guys but for now, he's not going into the 350. Maybe eventually when I get my new tank and I get these South Americans inside the bigger tank, maybe when I add some of my other more aggressive Central, Central American cyclists, he'll go in here. But that's going to be a while from now. For now, he's going to be behind that rock. I also tried adding my Viejas and the Spillum to this aquarium. Very gorgeous fish, um, about the same size as the Pearsai. However, it definitely did not turn out well, mainly because of this fish right here, this little devil. This is my Crinicicla lenticulata the pike. A lot of people like this fish, but one thing I don't like is his personality. He is vicious. He's a bully. He likes, he, his pleasure is in bullying fish. Look at that evil smile. But yeah, I put the um, Viejas and the Spillum in his tank, and 30 minutes later I had to take him out because he was near death. And then if you've got a good eye, you notice that some fish are missing from this tank. And they are my now tilapia. I had three of them. Decided to take them out because one, this tank was overcrowded. And two, because in this aquarium, excuse the laundry, but in this aquarium, I had um, those dither fish, those filament barbs that I was growing out. Well, I finally decided to add them to the tank. And these guys ate every single one of them. I think it was mainly the dovi and um, the, there's a female dovi in this tank. Her, along with these Ornatus cichlids right here, I think they together killed every single one of those filament barbs. Put them in, right away they looked okay. The next day I found them in pieces. So yeah, that didn't work. So I wanted to get these fish out, so I just put these tilapia in this tank. And these tilapia are huge. So they really um, do allow so many fish to feel a little bit more comfortable. Look at the vieja. This is some after he was beat up by the pike. So he still has some recovering to do. I'm gonna put some um, Melifix in there just to help him heal a little bit better. Um, but yeah, have these guys in here. I also took out some of the hiding spots and we're gonna see if this encourages 
the fish to be more active. Right now, they're just in this corner because there's only been like a day. On top of that, this guy is more dominant than this female. She's been dominating them, but she's not too aggressive. So we're, yeah, we're just gonna have to see how that plays out. Hopefully they will get, they become a little bit more bold, a little bit more active, and I could finally get some life into this tank. But yeah, everyone, it's been a busy week and some change for me, a lot of movements, a lot of experiments. Once again, just in the effort of trying to find the best life for most of my fish. As always, let me know what you guys think about this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.